Hey guys, how about how are you? David DeFranco here from davidfranco.com slash ask. That is your open forum for submitting questions for future videos such as this one. Hey, that was pretty good. And today's question comes from the Lewis Armstrong. That's his Twitter name, but his regular name is just Lewis. So Lewis, thank you for this great question because it really is an excellent question. But before I get into that, you like that little tease there. I do want to give a huge shout out to Nicholas Xavier, because he was nice enough to contribute to my Mac Pro campaign over at davidfranca.com slash Indiegogo, and I greatly appreciate it. So I just want to give credit where credit is due. So Nicholas Xavier has a very interesting product going over at facebook.com slash collectorama. This is basically a website for the collectors of the world who enjoy collecting movies, movie related figures, and anything else that relates to movies. Now, as far as I know, the website is not live, but you can definitely go to the Facebook page as of today. And according to Nicholas's notes, you can get daily updates there right now. So again, if you're into movies, if you're into collecting things related to movies, such as Willy Wonka, Batman, anything like that, definitely check it out. And guys, I gotta be honest, I am a huge movie fan, so I will be liking the page right after this video. Now there is one catch, Collectorama is aimed towards the Brazilian public, but Nicholas does promise this, all future YouTube videos will be subtitled for the English speaking viewers, such as myself. So check it out, Nicholas seems like a cool guy, he's a social media enthusiast, a web writer, and a Foursquare super user. And Nicholas, I gotta say, don't you dare invade my mayorship throughout several Wawa's. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue because you don't even live in America. So, we'll set that aside for now. Anyway guys, check him out. He's a great supporter of mine. Link is right below. Okay, so getting back to Lewis's question. Lewis says, hey David, I was on Twitter the other day and I came across this link. Now, just to protect you guys, I'm not gonna put the exact link right below because it's, it's just all around bad. And that's exactly why I'm making a video about it. But anyway, going on, Lewis says, the site gives you the option to pay from $10 to $350 for 1,000 to 100,000 followers, friends, subscribers on social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I was wondering, David, what are your views on a service like this, and do you think it is right and legal? Thanks, Lewis. Okay, so Lewis brings up a great topic. What are these services? Like, what do they do and what is their purpose, basically? Well, as Lewis just described in the question, and I forgot to turn on caffeine, whatever. These services literally allow you to purchase views, likes, subscribers, followers across a huge variety of social media sites such as YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So what are my thoughts on services like this? They are wrong. Don't. Do it! If you're serious about your content or your online presence in general, don't do it. Avoid services like these like the freaking plague. They are horrible. You are cheating the system. You are basically saying, hey look, I'm fake, my content sucks, but I want to buy followers to make myself look good. And believe me, sooner or later, you will get flagged. So if you buy subscribers on YouTube, you're gonna be banned like that. And the same thing goes for Twitter. If you buy followers on Twitter, boom, you're out. Likes on Facebook, boom, you're out. Likes on freaking Instagram, followers on Instagram, anything like that, boom, you're out. These services are just flat out wrong. You're essentially a cheater. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Now, this may not relate on the same level, but I do compare the two for a reason. For example, cheating in online video games. Why do people feel the need to cheat in online video games such as Battlefield, Call of Duty, and anything else that's popular nowadays? I've just never understood that mentality. Why would you want to cheat your way through the system when it feels so much better to earn your rank yourself, to earn your views yourself, to earn your subscribers yourself? I mean, I've been on YouTube for about seven, eight years now, and I'm just now hitting 100,000 subscribers in about a month or two. And I gotta say, I am freaking damn proud of that because I have worked my ass off to get those numbers up. I have never once cheated the system. Every single subscriber you see on my channel clicked it organically because they liked me. They liked my content and that is how it should be. Okay, so instead of buying your way up the social media ladder, I love that, I just love 
metaphors or whatever. What should you do? What should you do to gain an organic following? Well, the number one thing you gotta worry about is creating quality content. I cannot stress this enough. If you create good content, people will naturally take an interest. I say this a million times, but me, I'm no one special in this world. I'm just like you. One day I decided to sign up for YouTube and create videos. And over time, I've obviously gotten a lot better. I learned how the platform works. I've learned the kinds of videos that people want from me. I've learned the kinds of videos people don't want from me. And through all those years, I've created better content over time. And through better content, I've gained more followers over time, more subscribers over time, and more likes over time. And this doesn't just go for YouTube, hence all those terms I just used. This especially goes for similar services, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And finally, last but not least, you just need to be patient. Creating an online presence is not easy. I mean, especially with something such as the tech industry, the tech industry is saturated to pretty much the fullest degree that you can imagine. There are tech channels left and right. But it's because I put out five videos a week that allows me to grow a little quicker than I normally would be if I would just put out one video a week. But even then, I still need to be patient. I need to take my time, find out what works, find out what doesn't work, and just grow organically. And that is the best advice I'll probably ever give you, at least for this year. Just be patient, guys. Create quality content, and people will naturally take an interest in you and your content. Do not buy your way up the social media ladder. That's the only thing I have to say. Do not buy views, likes, subscribers, followers. It's not worth being banned, trust me. So Lewis, there you go. A very great question with a very passionate answer. I love what I do and I'm very proud of how I've gotten here and I'm very proud to keep going even further and it's all thanks to your support. So definitely be sure to check out Lewis over at twitter.com slash the Lewis Ormston. I very much apologize if I just butchered your name, Lewis, but that link can be found right below. Follow him. I'm sure he'll greatly appreciate it. Okay, so today's video is a Q&A video, as you probably just noticed. So that means you guys get another free audiobook of your choice by going to davidfranco.com slash audible. Now I do say of your choice, but per this video's topic, I do want to recommend an awesome title by the name of the Social Media Bible. Oh, I forgot to cut. No, but seriously, not in terms of you're gonna be praying for followers and subscribers and likes and all that stuff, but because this book will teach you how to create an awesome online presence for yourself. Whether it's through creating videos online or creating a fan page on Facebook or taking kick-ass photography on Instagram and getting those likes. This book will tell you how. Now, I just happen to own the book. I mean, this book is freaking thick. It's almost 800 pages long. That's just insane. And truthfully, I haven't read the whole thing. I mean, that would just be insane. I prefer to learn through experience and through online resources, which brings me to the free audiobook version of this very book. You can get it for $30 normally, but for free and by using that link right below, I just totally mixed my words up around. You can get it for nothing. That's all I'm trying to say. So check it out, davidfranco.com slash audible. Search for social media Bible and the book is yours to keep forever. So check it out guys, I think you'll really enjoy it and boom, it's a big book. And now finally, before I wrap up this video, I do wanna give a shout out, well, to myself. I mean, if you're interested in getting a promotion for your brand, your YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, anything like that, just like Nicholas Xavier did, check out that link right below to my Mac Pro campaign. Now as of today and running through until April 15th, you can get that same exact one to two minute video promotion for $50 less than it normally costs. This is an excellent way of getting the word out about your channel, a brand, a product you're selling, anything to your desire. Anyway guys, just check it out if you are interested. I promise it really is a great service and you'll see feedback like that. And real quick, I gotta say, no, this is not a way of buying views or subscribers. This is a way of advertising your channel or anything you want. And if people naturally take interest through that promotion, 
then they'll subscribe, they'll like, they'll follow. And I have living proof of that. For instance, check out Lewis Beasley, the last guy I just promoted. He's gained, I think, 100 to 200 subscribers just because I promoted him last week. And that right there is the power of social media. Did you hear that? My phone's dinging. And on that note, I think I will sign off for today's video. Guys, thank you so much for your continued support. And don't forget, if you are interested in asking questions for future videos, then head on over to davidfranco.com slash ask, just like everything else in my life. That link is also right below. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.